welcome to my channel um yeah it's been a hot minute uh so sorry um my life has been pretty swaggy lately uh not really um i've been horribly busy but uh i'm getting ready for work so i thought i would show you how i did this um probably too bold for work but like you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So, uh, <laughs> I hate myself. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Um, I tried to record this before, but I forgot to make an intro. So, yeah. Life of an influencer, baby. Um, enjoy. If you're my friend and you're watching this, I really appreciate it. If you're not my friend and you're watching this, let's be friends. Um, if you're a random boy just here out here to support, appreciate you. Um, anyways, love you all. Love everybody. Love everything. Um, enjoy. Mwah! Hey, y'all. Um, yeah. <laughs> I know it's been a while. Um, let's dive right into it I'm gonna go in with I got this yesterday but um, the glam glow glow starter illuminating moisturizer in nude glow so have never tried this before so let's give it a shot just gonna take a little bit oh it smells so good so I'm gonna go in with some primer. Um, I'm gonna go with the Armani Light Master Primer. And this stuff is like liquid gold. I really wanna try their foundation, but a sister is a little too poor for that. <laughs> so that's not gonna happen. Um, I'm also gonna go in with some Fix Plus. I really like a good base for um, foundation. Also, do you see that? I woke up with a freaking bug bite on my face. And I know it's not a pimple because it itches like crazy. Um, I got a sample at Sephora yesterday for this Lancome um, foundation. And it has a really long name. Lancome Tint Idol Ultra 24H Makeup. Maybe you can read that. I don't know. I also can't pronounce anything, so... I've decided that I've grown out of is Tarte Shape Tape. Um, I used to love it and then it just got really old to me. Um, I don't know. Uh, I've always really been into the Age Rewind, you know, the good old Maybelline one. Um, it's never failed me and if I just feel like wearing concealer, I can just, you know, put it on real quick, blend it out, and go. Um, but it also is like just, I don't know, it just blends with any foundation, but we'll see how it blends with this. So I was watching Story Times by Rara Nups, I think that's, and actually I probably pronounced that wrong. I'm so sorry, sweetie. Um, and she's actually pretty funny, but she has some crazy story times from her high school days. And it got me thinking about what an innocent child I was in my high school days. Um, before I get into that, uh, I'm going to use MAC Studio Fix Powder to set my whole face, so. Uh, yeah, I just, I was like that goody goody, like, 4.0 student. I always focused on my grades, like, grades were most important to me. <laughs> I did it a boy for on and off for like three years. Um, 
and he was kind of a not a bad boy he just like you know he did regular high school boy things and I like was not having it and then I hit senior year and I chilled out a little bit um by chill out I mean like I just I didn't care anymore but I still got good grades um but a sister threw a party in, in, or, yeah, in my childhood home, my senior year. Um, got caught for that one. Uh, my dad was not happy, but we're okay. We have a good relationship now. But I, just bringing that up, I just realized that I like, don't have any crazy stories. Um, other than like, oh, so when I dated that boy, like, sister has a strict dad, so, um, he didn't want boys, like, upstairs or anything, um, but one time I said I was going to my friend's house to spend the night when I was going to my boyfriend's house. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, I'm gonna use the... Hula Benefit Bronzer, you know what it is. Um, and so, I, my sweet, sweet self, I think this was actually my junior year of high school, um, thought I wasn't going to get caught, but pretty sure my dad is low-key an FBI agent who... He was undercover, or he's an undercover assassin. I don't know, whichever one. Um, but he had figured out where my car actually was. He went to my boyfriend's house, which was like a long drive actually. It was like a 20 to 25 minute drive. And he had drove all the way out, and he saw that my car was in the driveway. Um, so yeah, don't remember all the details, but he was not happy. Um, so I had to go home. Like I really tried thinking about if I had any other like crazy stories, but I don't. Like I would like go to parties my senior year and just not drink. Okay, so this blush, I absolutely die and die. So it's the NARS orgasm blush, but but, sis, uh, here's the tea. It's an illuminating loose powder. And I'm just gonna put this on my cheek and kind of build up towards that. Not contour. I honestly don't contour anymore. Like, I could care. I just, I don't care enough. Like, I absolutely just don't care. So I'm gonna take this Dior Show Brow Styler. It's nice because you can, you know, twist it up and down. So I'm just gonna brush out my brows. And honestly, my brows are another thing, like in my last tutorial, if you ever watched that. It's another thing, like I just could absolutely care less about. Honestly, I'm surprised my dad hasn't called me while I've been recording. Because that man literally calls me every, at least, at least every hour. And he'll do the thing where, like, he'll call me and then 10 minutes later call me again. Like, sis, I knew it. Like, I know I was through that party in my senior year. But, like, we're on good terms now and I'm your favorite child. So, like... Really? You need to give me some space. Like, he doesn't do it when I'm at school. We don't really talk when I'm in Spokane. But, for some reason, when I'm home, he calls me every goddamn 10 minutes. So, I'm done with my brows. And I'm just going to open the peach palette for a second and take the white peach just to set my eyelids. Because I don't want them to crease. Okay, this is kind of a face full of like first impressions. Not really, like I just have a few things here. But I bought the Huda, Huda Beauty 
amethyst obsessions and it has oh so many beautiful purple shades like wow are you kidding so i think i'm gonna mix with the peach palette just to chill it out a little bit so i'm gonna go in with georgia from the peach palette in my crease you know like because i'm a beauty guru like you would gotta get that like middle shade that transition so before I get into the deep purple shades, I'm just gonna take Candied Peach, which is a little bit of a darker pink. I'm gonna put that more on the outer corner. By the way, I just used the Morphe M504 brush, which is nice for blending, and then the Morphe M505 to get a little bit more precise. I'm a little scared, but we're gonna go with this palette and I'm gonna take the most simple color. This kind of almost Barney purple. And I'm gonna take it in the outer corner and just blend. So I'm gonna take my bigger Morphe brush and just try to blend more and more. Okay, so I'm gonna take this darker purple up in this corner. The eyeshadows don't have names, so. Sorry. And I'm gonna put this in the outer corner. Um, I really like how some of their shades are not just pure purple, like they have pinky undertones, because I'm just a very pink gal like pink is my color side note if you're a fella and you wear pink um beat my line because i think that's so hot my last ex-boyfriend um not that i have a lot of boyfriends ever like rarely i'm 99 percent of the time single um he like refused to wear pink and that just I mean, no tea, no shade, but that just goes to show like how comfortable you are with your sexuality. That's hot, as Paris Hilton would say. This one guy I have a crush on, and you know that I have a crush on him because like tea. Um, he wears this pink sweatshirt, and he literally wore it one time because he knew I loved pink, and that's just that's brave and. I respect, I respect. Thanks for listening to my TED talk. If I can take the Smashbox, I sprayed it with some Fix Plus, and I'm gonna, ooh, I'm about to dive in. And I'm just gonna put on my outer corner for now, not my entire lid, because I don't know if I can. Ooh, yes. I don't know if I can get that crazy today you guys you're kidding that looks fake nut oh sorry I didn't mean to say that oh my god I have to tell my friend Tosh about this she's also like into makeup and is really freaking good at makeup so I'm like the type of girl that like is good at makeup when she wants to be but when it comes to like going to school and class recently you're lucky if you see me um wearing any makeup and when I do wear makeup I my eyeshadow look is no eyeshadow just face makeup basic face makeup no intense contour and mascara. God, I hope Tosh is watching this. Hi, Tosh. I love you. Shout out. Okay. So, I'm going to put a color in my inner lid to blend in with that. I am going to go in with that rose gold shade, question mark. pretty I also
also really like the shade in the very middle of this palette. Like, it's calling my name. But I don't... Sister God did not give me enough eyelid space to use that. But I'm just gonna... Don't mind me. I'm just gonna dip into it. Like, just the tiniest amount. And put it in the middle. I'm just gonna, like, take that color in the middle that I love and just kind of, like... Irk it. Oh, that's not even a word, I think. Um, put it more towards my inner crease as well and kind of take over because it's like really vibrant. So I'm going to take a little bit of the Smashbox brush. It doesn't have a name. It's just a little bit more defined. And I'm going to take that dark purple, like literally the slightest amount because purple is so pigmented. And kind of blend out in my crease. My outer, outer crease. Then I'm going to take that first pink, pinky purple shade and then drag it under my lid to pull this together. Okay, I'm going to take a little eyeliner brush and get it wet. <laughs> just use your mouth. I don't care. I'm unsanitary, so. And then I'm just going to run that dark purple, this one, right in my lash line. I don't think I've ever been more impressed with pigment in a palette before. Like, I didn't even use my fingers for these shimmers. Okay, so that's obviously very pigmented. Beautiful. Tosh, get this palette. Okay, I'm going to call it a day with the eyeshadow because I'm getting too into it. I'm going to curl my lashes with just a regular lash curler for about 10 seconds each. I actually got this yesterday too, a little sample of the Tarte lash paint, so I'm going to give a little review on it. I'm actually really picky with mascaras, so... We'll see if I like it. I really like how defined the lash applicator is because I don't like clumpy lashes. So, so far, pretty dang impressive. Pretty! So I'm going to put some on my lower lashes. Once it's like kind of drying, I take my lash brush and I just brush through my lashes to make sure nothing's clumped together. Okay, so I once it's kind of all dry, I just take a Q-tip and make sure that no mascara flakes are left behind. So after putting all those powders on my face, uh, I'm just gonna put some Vicks Plus on. <laughs> let it dry so the most important step to me is highlighter and of course you got to use champagne pop so what Rihanna's makeup artist actually does is she reaches up into her eyebrow and then suits up and then down so of course that's what I do now and then I love a good little nose highlight. And I take my finger and I always go in my inner corner of my eye. So I'm going to take one of my favorite lip glosses, which is the Buxom Plumping Lip Gloss in the shade Kimberly. Kimberly. 